Okay, welcome to another video. This video is a little bit more special uh, because these are packs that I had picked when I was a kid and I had stuck them away into a, a box and never opened them. But today, we're going to open them. So, okay, let's see, what are we going to start with? Uh, let's do, first things first, we're going to do the 1990 score. I would have been, in 1990, I would have been uh, in 8th grade, I think it was. Okay, let's see. What do we got? Hopefully, we get something really good for being the original pack that I picked. Record Breaker, Joe Montana, awesome. Jerry J. Thompson, George Williams. Scott Mitchell, rookie. Dennis Brown, rookie. Anthony Thompson, rookie. Dixon. I will have to go back and kind of price these out and see what more we got, but the big one is Joe Montana. I always get caught on those corners. I try not to make sure I don't like, damage the corners of the card. And in a sleeve. And here we go. First pull. Best pull. What we'll do is we'll put the best card on the stand. The rest of these we'll have to, I will price them. Price them out and see what, we might have some more in there that's good, but that's the best card of the deck. Okay, now we have a Donruss. I'm going to turn the camera just a little bit, some kind of more central. Okay, let's see, we got Donruss. What year is this? Series 1. Uh, let's see. Find the, the gear on here, but I'm not seeing it. We will remember which uh, is this the I don't think, because the red cards are in the orange wrappers. This, I think, be the blue. Yes, they are. Okay, we got a rated rookie. Got the checklist. Tom Gordon. Jack. Dave Stewart. Don Mattingly. It's probably the, so far the best. Melmer, possible. I'm thinking we're going to have to go with the Don Mattingly as the best. And the, the Ruben Armand, that one might be um, Roberto Almar. It's a possibility. I don't know if I really need to case them up in the top loader, but you know what, being uh, these, they, it's so hard to get them to go down in. Okay, well I think Don Mattingly is going to be our best for that pack. And we'll price out the rest of those eventually. Just As you can see, I've got, got all those to price still. Plus, I have another um, long box of cards that I have not priced yet. Okay, we got the next pack is a 1991 Series 2 score. Hopefully, we'll hit in each one of these packs. Oh, got a little bit of damage on the corner there. 
who we got? Ron Gant. Sometimes his are... It's funny because sometimes his cards are worth a bunch and sometimes they're worth nothing. That's a little bit. Bant. Benny. I'll have to look that one up. Oh, Ryan Sandberg, Man of the Year, 1990. I think that's probably going to be our top Reds World Series. That no hitter, no hitter, Nolan Ryan, no hitter. Paul, oh, that's going to be a hard one. We got I don't know if the Nolan Ryan or the Ryan Sandberg. Oh, I don't know. I think I'm going to go with the Nolan Ryan. For the top of this pack, let me know if you think that I picked right in the comments. I think Ryan Samberg, Nolan Ryan, or one of the others. I think we're going to go with the Nolan Ryan, though. For this pack. Yeah, I was going through one of my old boxes, and most of my cards are in Illinois right now pick those up this summer. I don't have any more op unopened packs. These are the, the only unopened packs I have. But those, the other box, what I did is I had gone through when I stopped collecting for the last 30 years, I actually took all the baseball cards out of my binder and put them in a big brown, a big um, uh, cardboard box and put it in the closet sealed it up and said open in so many years or whatever so we will open it <laughs> probably do that on camera but that won't be in that'll be a few months still okay we got a skybox this is a basketball cards um 19 what what year is this one it's probably like in 92 93 or something like that because I, I think basketball and football were the last ones that i was collecting Okay, uh, let's see, powerful autographs. So there might be autographs in here. Okay, let's uh, bust it open, see what we can get. It's been a long time since it... Oh, wow. Hey, <laughs> it doesn't want to open. Let's try the bottom. I haven't been doing on-camera opening because of my shake, but with this one I wanted to have more of a surprise with the card, so I hope you don't mind. I live with it, so I think uh, I can handle a couple minutes of watching me shake. <laughs> okay, let's see what we got. Chris Jackson, not sure, not real up on the basketball. Um, Grant. Oh, Johnson. I think that's probably going to be our. So far, that's our top. Hoping for a Michael. <laughs> so I think definitely the Irvin Johnson. Hey, we okay set up. I'm not sure on the value of any of these yet, but these are the ones that like I recognize. So it, it doesn't always mean anything though. It's like I've been as I've been scanning through the cards that I thought were like just uh, insert cards, basically just worthless cards. The ones that are like a penny or five cents. I've been finding it's like, oh, that one's worth eight bucks. How is that? It's like I've never even heard of that person, but hey, somebody has, and I'll be happy to sell it. <laughs> okay, let's see. I should do some more basketball cards and football cards. I've been buying just strictly baseball. But... Okay, let's see. We got a pro set, the official 1990. NFL card. Let's see, is this a series? What series is this? 
Series 2. Oh, big, big red letter tray on the front there. I was kind of overlooking it. Okay, let's see what we got. Okay, football. Anthony Miller. We got a Pro Bowl. Pro Bowl possible. Another Pro Bowl. Three of them so far. Come on. At least one person that I recognize would be nice. So I have one to put in the MVP football. Based on Super Bowl two, well possibly that might be one that's. I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna. I'll have to go through and see what. This one's got like some print error lines on it. This one I'm gonna have to go through to find which one is the actual valuable one. Pro set prospect. Okay. Well, I think possibly that one. We're not going to put it in a hard case, but we'll at least throw it in a penny sleeve so that, just in case if it's the one that Brett Starr. Okay, well, I think that's that's our top picks from the, the packs from the past, basically. I've got a lot of packs to open, but these were the ones that I had actually bought originally, so... Okay, well, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Uh, let me know down in the comments. Uh, I'm continuing to work on getting cards priced over on that C-O-L-L-X dot app. I'm getting them scanned in, and then I'm going to eventually start setting them for sale and stuff. So if you want to head over there, uh, I think it's under Mark, and then it's under Northern Ants. It's like the screen name. So you can go to, to that app and then look for Northern Ants or Mark, or Mark Northern Ants, so, okay, well, thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it, thank you, Heather, for being a channel member and supporting me in that way, uh, thank you for, uh, for the super thanks uh, Mary did the other day, uh, and if anybody else is interested in helping me maintain my channel, please uh, consider doing a super thanks or becoming a channel member, I appreciate it very much, have a great rest of your day, and I will talk to you in the comments.